What the? Okay, why is VC phase? Okay, that there, there we go. <laughs> For some reason, VC phase wasn't being caught by OBS here. Uh, anyways then, a bit short of a <clears throat> bit of a late start, but also a bit of a short pre-stream. Oh well. Uh, ahoy everyone and welcome aboard. Yeah, I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... ASM First Mate Rick here, at your service. And I forgot to turn the sign on the door. Give me a second. There we go. Gotta leave the door unlocked though, since Ink is in the room. She's sleeping in the waste bin box again. <laughs> Uh, anyways, welcome back to Tomb Raider Anniversary, our fourth stream of this, if my calcul uh, well, calculation, if my count is correct, uh, which it doesn't always have to be. I think we've, we've had at least three streams in the last few months or so where the wrong number was on or something. Actually, I can check that for once, since this little thing has been working as intended. Uh, what little thing? Uh, the thing we use on Discord. Oh, that, yeah. Um, okay, that's... Oh, the announcement right, is there. Alright, this the fourth indeed. Okay. Um, yeah, last time we got the second piece of the Skion, or Sion, or however you go, the Atlantean Beyblade. <laughs> um, yeah, now we are on the hunt for the third in Egypt. So, let's resume and continue on. Oop. Okay, we are not opening that thing. Oh dear. Oh, I think we have to. To climb up this. Because we can't reach that from here, so... Okay, nice little play, Glaim. If <laughs> they're game... Glaim, game. Ugh. I cannot English today, it seems. Again. No special charges this time. Ow. They don't need to to get to me. Wait. Okay. I think I saw something odd. Hmm? I think I saw spots on the fur. Shift it was. Yep, we can't check now. But yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't think they're tigers. Or they're, they're a sort of big feline, but what specifically they are, I'm not sure on. Yeah, but they look way more lion like, but they're not com completely black either. They're almost bluish. Let's see, what was the use of that? It oh, does make me think of a. a animal in Africa that is maybe real. Problem is. We only found the fur so far, and if I'm not right, it did confirm to be from an unknown feline. Okay. So we're dealing with cryptid cats? Yeah, that might be real. Probably we haven't caught it on camera or captured it. As far mm -hmm. as I know, if I've been provided true for information, so take this with a grain of salt. The sample. It was unusual color and was from a unknown feline. So I don't remember being f so far up to Egypt. Hmm. Okay, for a moment I thought that was going to come crashing down on us. Yeah. And uh, for people wondering what the name of the cryptid is, I sadly forgotten. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I think I heard they actually did appear in one of the Harry Potter novels? I don't remember... Oh, good. Oh, good. I don't remember a cat in the Harry Potter... Or, or magic cats in the Harry Potter books, but then again it has been over a decade since I've last read those. Yeah, I haven't read that. I remember when my mother wanted us to read them and when you and read some of just. For some reason, get us into the living ring and read it out loud for us to see if we could, uh, try to get us to read more. Like, okay. I was already reading things, but that one didn't catch my eye. The movies were okay. I'm not a super fan, but I did not hate them. I did enjoy them a little bit, but then I just completely lost interest in them. 
Okay. It is not for everyone. Uh, there yeah, we go. I think also the, 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 the bit harmful was the extreme amount of overhype. Yeah, that's something that everything can suffer from. Uh, personally, I grew up with the books and the movies, so uh, I'm not the most unbiased person to, count, uh, to talk about those. But I, I won't call them masterpieces or anything, but I will say that I did enjoy them. Okay. Yeah, I'm myself a bit more neutral about them. It's... Is uh, it going to retract this time? Nope. I only remember the name was short and stopped. I think it started with an N. And, oh boy, I think the big problem for me was about struggle to pronounce it. <laughs> yeah, there's the, some weird words in there. I think even the YouTubers who spoke about it, who even referenced it, actually made a short referencing yep. in one of the Harry Potter books, said that uh, <laughs> they even struggle with uh, the name. Lower just deciding to fuck reality and relying only on her own. Oh, what the heck? Yeah, yeah, that looked a bit weird and looked at her like you were to, move, to fall over there. Okay, there's a weight here. It's supposed to be on the other one here. No clue how it would have ended up over there. Uh, let's see. But the mechanism ex yeah, is exposed. Is it, what, if I remember right, the creature was. Unusually bluish with black sp uh, or dark blue spots. Larger than a lion. And I forgot it had a long or short tail. Okay. And I think it was in East Africa. I might be wrong there. I will have to investigate that thing uh, sometime. Yeah. But I still to wonder if these lines we meet here are supposed to be those or something else. The, the cryptid cats, not the ones you uh, mentioned in Harry Potter, I, I uh, take it? The cryptid cats, yes. Or in this case, I don't know if you want to see kind of cryptids or move unconfirmed. Uh, yeah, it, it has happened plenty of times that we have thought that something didn't exist. Only to for it to randomly show up. Or at at one point there was a fish that was presumed to be extinct. Uh, one of the Poke yeah, uh, one of the Pokemon of the third Pokemon generation was based on that. And oh. yeah, then a <laughs> then a woman just you know, no not then a researcher, uh, more respectful way, I think, uh, just randomly finds one in a fish market. Yeah, and oh bloody heck. There's a funny story about gorillas for... Hmm. Gorillas were considered a myth until 1800, but they actually found them. But the rest of the continent has told them, no, those are real. <laughs> Same with a... Uh. I think it's what called quack, yeah? Or some another... A giraffe relative in oh, Southern Africa? But the tribes to exist, and they they be around, what's it like, eighteen or nineteen hundred? They finally found the damn thing. So, however, when it comes to cryptids, I am not blindly believing everything told to me. Yeah, I am careful, but I'm not not to completely say nope, no way to every single one. For I, I will give them some slight uh, slimmer of uh, slight trust to believe that there's some sliver of possibility uh, yeah that's the best way to go around with some of those like most of this most of what are called cryptids these days are very unbelievable uh, and I, I personally believe that there the chance that all of those are real is very very slim to the point of yeah, near impossibility. But there, yeah, we have also said there are a lot of species that we just discovered uh, when we thought they weren't real or, yeah, thought they were extinct. So there's always a slight possibility. And hello. Oh, yeah. Now, what it's are a matter of uh, thinking of 
where they live and if there's enough people to wander it often. Like, some people say, well, we haven't really found bones yet. Well, a bit, it is hard to find bones if you don't know where to look. True. Hmm. I'm not sure if we can progress here at the moment. Let's see, what is... Okay, we came this way. And then we also had the wall. We have Google Earth. We should have found them easy. No. <laughs> no. For one, those those images are taken a, a long time between each. It, let's try and do this the right way before Laura just phases through the floor completely. Oh dear. There we go. Better. And uh, yeah, he missed. Uh, okay, sorry, go on. But yeah, a lot of that stuff, uh, we can't be fully sure. The presumption is yeah, that it's likely not true, but there is always a, sl yeah, a slim chance that something might be true, as unbelievable as it may seem at times. Yeah. Bloody heck. But I do. I'm usually trying to be careful when listening to those who believes it and those who are skeptical for I heard some beliefs just claim about the most stupid things, but also heard a lot of skeptics claiming the most stupid thing as well. Yeah. Like, my point mostly is there needs to be evidence. Like, we have plenty of evidence, well, we, <laughs> we've known for literal centuries, that, like about half uh, a millennium at the very least possibly more that the earth is round and the expl explanations that people come up with to say that the earth is flat are so, so flabbergastingly dumb to put it bluntly and uh, counter to known science that uh, yeah that's just no <laughs> no yeah and also we, we know the the planet was around way long ago. Already back in Greece, we knew things to one of the... Oh, bloody, I forgot which one of the, the big names there. Yeah, something to do with... Uh, I think we've spoken of this before. There's two pillars in different areas of Egypt, and they looked at the shadows at the same time of day. Yeah. What the...? There we go. I was being dumb. <laughs> and that crumbling was just uh, a bit of the wall falling away as we climbed over it. Okay. Uh, that bit. That's so high. It, well. Unexpected tech uh, to see in uh, this, but then if it's related to Atlanteans, then in, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I will investigate what this feline is called for is, is one of the rare cases of it may have evidence okay. and been DNA tested and was, I think it was just said that it's an unknown feline. So it does have some credence for it, it does mean that yes, they all seen a feline. But what feeling is it? Mm. Is that then the question? Well, we might get a get better look at this one. Yeah. Okay, that, that, that maybe doesn't look really bluish. Okay, what was hidden in here? Look at Hot and the feather. I know they're all blue, or they're all very rare cases of an animal, like a lion, be born blue. Again, it's something similar to albino and such, but even rarer, of course. Okay. If it was a blue lion or tiger in a zoo? I can't recall anything of the sort myself, but then again, I, I don't typically keep my ear on the news too well. Oh, I just found this random thing to YouTubers like uh, Wattop and the others. 
Jade puppets and the chain of sorts. Okay, that one's in place. This one needs to be... Can I keep a grip, Lara? This one needs to be this. And let's see. Yeah, this isn't the most structurally safe way to hide stuff. Then again, I think the walls here are probably sturdy enough to keep oh, to keep everything Wait, hold standing. On. Let's enter there. Do you see something weird here? Uh, the shotgun shells or something else? Hey, let me with it. You put it here and what run out? Yeah, cat. Uh, let me double check. Blue. Okay. Two Question things. is. How long has it been in there? Uh, probably long enough to run out of its patience. But yeah, this game isn't supposed to be realistic or anything of the sorts. Yeah, but sometimes you do feel like... Maybe you should have some more unnatural creatures, like any... Un if, it, if it was a skill to a zombie, we will not bat an eye. It will not be too weird for us, but a lion? Wait, this thing is in the ground. Hmm. We need to turn it a bit more. Oop, I heard some. Uh, heard, I heard something there. Hmm. I honestly would not be surprised if there's something supernatural about these animals here. Could be. We're already dealing with Atlantean zombies. Yeah, or whatever they, those damn things are. Okay, nothing to find here. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, the pressure plates were keeping them down. Okay. Uh, birds with a... With a Starbucks cup. Uh, that, that, that reminds me of that, that fuck up they had uh, with Game of Thrones. There we go. Yeah, I, I didn't see it. Yeah, I haven't seen the I haven't seen the episode myself. I didn't watch Game of Thrones. Uh, mostly because I had the feeling it was getting overhyped, and yeah, turns out it was right with it just crashing and burning at the end. Yeah, that, it was damn good all this season, but... Yeah, they rushed the end. Obelisk of Kamun. And there's a suspicion that it might be a, 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 a sabotage attempt from Disney? Wait, Says Disney prom told them, Oh, you do it Game of so well. Once you're done with it, we will offer you a Star Wars uh, thing. I think I heard something akin to that. Yeah. Or the ride is getting off of that. The, I don't think they got that afterwards. <laughs> yeah. They didn't. So it makes you wonder. Did they... Was that really their own screwing up? Or was Disney hoping them to screw up? Yeah, I'm guessing more with how, how that ended up. That uh, they rescinded that promise. Seeing as how it turned out. Uh, yeah. But yeah, that's that's only just speculation and such. Yeah, but I would not be surprised if they had not been given an offer that they might have uh, given a bit more time in Polish. Uh, if, if they were promised, if they were offered that, then I think there would have been more reason for them to put extra work into it. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Do they? I think in this case, people speculate that they do to it. They ended up going to rush it and get, it, get the deals as fast as possible. In that case, then it's their own fault. Yeah. Oh dear. At least I hear the House of Dragons has been very successful. That I've heard as well, yeah. Just hope they learn the lessons. So 
bolt. Oh, not these things again. They really mess with the <laughs> the system that is in charge of keeping of grappling and is not and such. But yeah, no oh deal. Where to from here? As the camera keeps jittering around like a coffee addict. What? It just that it just does that. Just the hard zoom in and such. Where it, Hmm. Oh no, now I have flashback for something I learned recently. Or can we jump that? Have you heard of musk coffee? I haven't and I fear I don't want to know more than just the name of it and its existence. Yeah, let's leave it at that. There, there are actually surprisingly many coffee variants that are... That's all right, it sounds good. Then don't do as you want or... Who the heck thought of this, and how is this hygienic? Okay, now that way, this way. So uh, why researching one of them? With a penalty whale musk coffee? Because I feel like that probably is illegal. I didn't find a coffee on YouTube, but I did find mention that apparently... Whale... Vomit is worth gold. Um, For some reason. I think I've heard similar of that. I think... I think... I'm not sure if it's for actual value itself or more... Uh, medis... Uh, sort of medicinally or something. That it's used in certain... Uh, what was the... I don't want... The... <clears throat> Yeah, it, sort of home I know, cure it, stuff or something? I, I know I it's been used know. for perfumes and uh, other scented things. And for some reason, during the 1600 in England, the nobles ate... Uh, way they of ate, them. They ate, Yeah, they ate a lot. They ate and used a lot of weird-ass stuff that you just go now, like... What the absolute hell were any of you idiots thinking? Yeah, like, you, this was around the area where tea and coffee became common as well. Yeah, and I think many people probably preferred that to whatever junk they w otherwise would have gotten. Uh. Yeah. Oh, gosh. I, even the, but I had not a lot of weird things, like... Uh, do you know the first area, the, uh, the first church the Vikings raided in England? Um, I think that was somewhere in the north. Yeah, I like think it was called Lindisfarne, I think. I might be getting the name wrong. I learned something about the place from a, a, a video where they were talking about Vikings in that area. And they mentioned that the monks in that area ate dolphin. Okay. I didn't even know dolphins were that area, but I guess now I know why there are no longer dolphins in that area. I'm not even sure if... Uh, how how the absolute hell would we not crash there? Did we just get pushed out just in time? Uh, I, I think so. I'm, I'm hitting the clip button. <laughs> I want to see that again. Okay, I, I was already like, okay, I'm dead. But no. Yes, yeah, same. I expected you to be crushed, but no. You got flung out. Somehow. Uh, lucky. Yeah, this is one of your bizarre lucky situations, and you've been having several of those. Yeah. <laughs> it's this way back. I hope that... Okay, I'm not hearing... And I don't... I hope that wasn't a timer or anything, and more just something opening up fully or something. Uh, I'll take that. Did that happen again? Was that the thing that happened earlier? 
I don't... Well, maybe a bit more energetic. Another clip. The heck? Just... Wait. What if it was this physics engine bugging up that saved you earlier? Maybe. Oh, hello. Yeah, it was a Kupesh. I wonder if I'm pronouncing those right. Kupesh. I think Kupesh is with the curve that goes back and forth again. Yeah, a sort of a short curved sword. It kind of work like an axe. Yeah, scimitars would be similar in uh, in, si uh, uh, in design, but those are Middle Eastern, and not uh, Egyptian. Yeah, more north. and then Kupes were also, also usually a bit shorter, since they were made of bronze. I'm sure if they have found any iron ones, ah, damn it. but that might be rare bridge. since iron rust. Go. The shotgun is good as keeping them at bay, or at least off their feet. Yeah, wait, are you sure that's... Uh, can you check the menu? Uh, inventory menu, or... Uh, the regular menu. Oh. I thought we could see the bonus things there, for I remember there was something like a raptor fiend, bear fiend, and such a other... Maybe we can figure out what these are through there. I don't remember anything of that, but then again, my uh, memory and all that. Okay. Let's pull this one out. Now, where do we need... Oh, something behind it. Always useful to have more medkits. Hmm. I would not be surprised by, with myself at all if at any point in my life I just commissioned someone to make a replica medkit from this game. <laughs> and I'm talking about these things here. I think that you could almost make that yourself in some way. Eh, probably. Oh, that way. What you should do is get a 3D model of Laura instead. I'd probably end up with ev every single uh, of the modern Lara's uh, uh, models in that way. Let's see. Yeah, just not the old school one, for I feel like uh, your cats might hurt on that one. Poke someone's eye out with <laughs> old school Lara. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure those models will then be very sharp and pointy. But then I'm talking about the arms and legs and everything else. <laughs> Not just one Dirty. thing. Dirty minds. Just getting... <laughs> getting called yeah, out. Yeah, the dirty minds in the, who, that might be watching. Okay, that's too high. And... Uh, wrong way. Ow. Okay. Yeah, if, if we were, we have to jump immediately there and not wait on the backswing because then we'll, we'll run into the blades. Let's grab that. Okay. Yep. That was a dumb. <coughs> I don't think we'll have... I think we will probably finish the game in about two more streams or something. Again, I'm too used to shift being something else than fall down. Why am I even hitting that? I'm supposed to be hitting spacebar. Oh yeah, these games, once you know how to get through them, they don't take too long. So I, I suspect we'll probably finish the game uh, next time or the time after that and then we'll move on to the first of the uh, <coughs> Indiana Jones games that we'll be uh, streaming Yay! 
and I have not seen a single 3D Indiana Jones game. I only see the point and click ones. To my knowledge, there are, if you don't count the Lego one, there are only about three, I believe. There's Infernal, uh, <coughs> Infernal Machine, Emperor's Tomb, and a Wii game. Wait, what? I think it was a Lego one, so I should not be surprised. Oh. Okay, it's a chain. Go from one to the other to the other and get back out. Why do we want to go that way if we can just climb the stairs to get out? Or am I missing something? Let's take a bit of a look. Though this doesn't offer much better of a place. Wait, is all of that to get to whatever is up there? Maybe. We could always build a uh, hmm. Doom Diver launcher. Hello, Rom. Hello, Rom. Uh, I thought you were uh, more. I thought yeah, I didn't uh, expect you to jump in today, uh, today on this. So, how are you doing? Okay. I just gotta wait for this thing to pop out and back in again. Is is me his volume rather low? Forget again with the. Okay, how about now? There we go. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's, I was it's not the vol it's not the volume, it's the uh, it's uh, the position of the microphone. Okay, I so think this is to need to do that. Right? Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I, I I thought for a moment you were just talking quietly because you were tired or something. Tired. So apparently this thing is occasionally failing on me. Okay. Um, I don't think we came out this way, or came in this way. Oh, yeah, this is definitely new. There we go. Now my mic is front of me. I just realized my mic was uh, on the side of me. <laughs> okay. Oh. Uh, yeah, if we stay too long on these things, Laura will start to lose her balance. Okay. So, uh, you... <laughs> Uh, Ram, you've missed two uh, close calls already so far. With one of which, well, both of which, in in, in both of which cases, the uh, physics engine managed to somehow save us. The, the first one was that we act, we managed to squeeze out from a two uh, horizontal, two vertical crushers, and the other one, uh, Laura just decided to go levitate a bit. Levitate and fly up to another ledge. Okay, the Ark of Isis. We've got the Eye of Horus, or was it Ra? I think it was Horus. Yeah, Ra was more likely like have his uh, mirror. Uh, where do you say that wrong? It's either Horus or Ra. Pretty sure most people think whenever they see like an eye in something involving Egypt, they think of Ra. Yeah. True. Okay. Uh, I can need to. Uh, I'm a bit rust there. I forgot if Horus is Ross' son or. Hmm. I'm actually forgetting who, what the the family structure in the Egyptian. Uh, uh, well, then again, it could have also been the Eye of Horus, apparently. Uh, that one's coming straight for us. Okay. Uh, now. That. <laughs> that definitely should not have done done that. Oh. Well, that's one way to get a clean shave. I don't okay, think Laura Ra needs that much. The, okay, Ra is the god of the sun. Or Horus is related to Hathor. Oh, and I didn't see that we could that grab on here. But Laura. Physics, then you just love them. Adventures hate it, gravity and death love it. Horus is descended from Isis and Osiris. 
I've seen more con- I'll be honest, I've actually seen more convoluted god trees at this point than something like fucking Greek mythology or whatever. Yeah, it, with Greek mythology you, you typically have like two books. Uh, Greek mythology, uh, if uh, Zeus managed to keep it in his pants, and then there's the, <laughs> the other book that's like five times as thick, uh, which is labeled Greek mythology with Zeus just being the dick that he is. And why is the wise lord is not rubbing on there? Oh, Pretty dear. sure that's where we're supposed to go. I do, I do know that to some people it's a surprise. Many Egyptian god people may know are actually Greek and Romanified. Yeah, I know that Isis uh, appears in both Egyptian and uh, Greek mythology. Okay, this pushed out. I uh, did not know that, but I do know if you were to be an, an Egyptian, will not call Anubis Anubis. No. Then we call him Anub. Okay, so they calling it. They're, they're calling out his gaming skills. It's more of uh, when Greeks started to record uh, and translate them. They added uh, is and us. Okay. As a uh, suffix of gender and such, if I remember right. I might be wrong there, but they added extra letters. Yeah, Raw is one of the few that did not Greekify. Yeah. I'm dealing with this thing. There we go. Okay, that was a bit tough. Lost quite a bit of healing from that. Okay, how do we get out of this pit now? Or was was activating all of that to make to open up the way out of here or something? No. Wait, was this entirely just optional or something? Mm -hmm. And why is... Oh uh, no, we, uh, we didn't come this way, so let's check this out. This should lead us to another switch, hopefully. Oop. To get another artifact. Ow. Ow. Okay, that was dumb. <laughs> Probably should have chased after the high ones. Okay, luckily that didn't cost us there. Not that, well, it would have cost us much beyond time. Up, still get sliced up some. Okay, another one of these. Yeah, it's going to open the path to another of these. Okay. All right. And I just remember some another creeper that has been smarter box if it might be real or not but it has not too much evidence that okay. i recall i think it's pronounced sato this and it's in i think it's around brazil and peru wow. uh, in the jungles some tribes still say it's still around a Basically, a miniature version of a corner Taurus. Okay. I gotta search that up at some point. Yeah, no. Oh, yeah. so, the only reason I think people think that might be really is, is a small, is uh, not a massive dinosaur in this case. Yeah, we were talking earlier about how possibly the cats that we're fighting here are some sort of, yeah, unknown out, unknown feline. Which is suspected to be somewhere in uh, Africa. Yeah, or rather unknown to us, but known to some tribes. It might still be a feline that has not been documented yet fully. Yeah. Okay. And if it is, if it, that feline is real, then it's gonna be a. a a new biggest cat that's blue. Let's see. 
big cousin to the blue Russian <laughs> breed of cats. What are they called? I believe blue Russians, something like that. I'm not heard of those. No, uh, Russian blue, I think it is specifically. It's a cat that's. I think it's more a shade of black or something that looks blue because of the spacing in the hairs and such. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's one of those things that may that our answer is the reason we said that, that ravens are blue. Okay. So the entire <laughs> the entire time that I tried to get, yeah, tried to go this way, it was just the way back. Oop, up. I almost, I'd forgotten about the lower blades, and that just caused, <laughs> that just caused Laura her hamstrings, which is a muscle in the feet, at the back of the feet, I believe. Or no, the legs. Actually, could it be that? I know there. I know the. Uh, ow. Actually, we could have just done this. It doesn't actually say that you can crouch. I think, but it, only that you can do the roll and such. Uh, yeah. I'm the Achilles. I don't know what it's called in English, but the the muscle at the back of the heel. That is called the Achilles muscle or something like that uh, in Ooh. <clears throat> in Dutch. I think I know what you mean. Could be the hamstring. Uh, I, think, I think it's called Achilles tendons. Tendons Probably is that, something. Yeah. yeah, you don't want to be cut there. Yeah, that no. uh, makes it yeah, I... hard to walk, to say the least. Wait, yeah, I tore that one once. What? So, yeah, I, I accidentally tore one of those tendons once uh, during gym class. Uh, well, at the end of gym uh, class or something like that. And yeah, unpleasant is certainly a word. Yeah, ain't that a bit of one of those injuries that's almost semi-permanently harmed? Uh, if it uh, if it is torn completely, I wasn't. Yeah, luckily, that didn't happen for me. Uh, it still hurt like all fuck. Uh, once the, I actually started noticing it, which was an hour or two later. So you were in such a state of shock that you didn't notice it until you like. Ah, my foot hurts. I wonder why. Oh dear God! <laughs> yeah, I, I think what's more likely is that it tore. A little bit from a kick I did, and then walking, continu continuing to walk with it toward further until, uh, yeah, then the alarm bells rang. You guys, you did see the boxes, right? Uh, the the movable box. Uh, we've already done our bit with that, I think. It, I think that only it leads up to uh, a relic or artifacts. Didn't see a. Let's go take another look. But, uh, yeah, that, that hurt like all hell once I got home with it, so just laid on the, uh, laid on the couch for a good while. And, yeah, luckily enough, the next day I could st yeah. It wasn't completely crippling, like I just needed to not put force on it or such, or weight on it. And yeah, just the next day, wrapped it in like three layers of sock and managed to you know, start moving around again. Or more normally again. Holy. I don't know how I long that injury actually lasted. Yeah, it's a space. I don't doubt this will be quickly hit, but that is a rather important uh, one. Also, I think. Okay, I think that I think the goal with this one is more to go up and swing over, swing back, and jump onto that ledge. I was 
<laughs> I was overthinking again. There. Usually, let's see, there. tendon rupture. This in a two or three weeks can be fixed. This long as six weeks. Although, with the help of physical therapy, when you four to six months, you can go back to normal activity. Uh, given that you said it wasn't apparently that bad, I don't know, it didn't take you. It probably that picked up. How does that even See? keep happening? Hmm? How does that keep happening? Yeah, I, I just wasn't in, or was too high for the, it to connect, I'm guessing. Okay, and over this way, and there we go. A bit longer than I originally thought. And it... Save? Hey, that's a good thing. I'm glad the game allows you to save yourself like that. For some games, the front designer will not allow you to save yourself. I'm beginning okay. to question the architecture of this place. <laughs> beginning? Well, I mean, I okay, already questioned it. I just mean, wait, how the fuck are you supposed to get there? Okay, she's grabbing for it, but she's... Hmm. The thing is, the... the... The wall that's sticking out is making it harder. Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> and we fell into the artifacts range. So, um. the, so the entire point, the, so the entire exercise, I thought this was part of the puzzle or something, not that it was an artifact, because I saw like the bridge that led here up, so I figured you gotta do a thing to get a thing so you can lower the bridge to get the other thing, but... yeah. We need to get all four items for something, probably as keys. And yeah, there's that artifact that I was trying to get to earlier, and where we fell into. Hmm. Okay, at least we have a closer checkpoint. Okay, let's take a freaking look. Is there anything else here? There's that uh, ring yeah. in the middle, but we're too far away. Try manual aim, I guess. Uh, this, these ledges wouldn't be here if they were of some use. Uh, let's go down for a moment. Is there anything here? I very much doubt... Hmm. I'm pretty sure she is supposed to grab on there. Because I don't really see much of a other way of getting there. Hmm. That also works. Somewhat. I guess uh, we just like, well, we got the thing we didn't really care for while looking for a way up, so... And okay, I think the I think the physics engine might be mucking up a bit again. Yeah, unless we are supposed to manually aim where we jump. Yeah, I don't think that's possible. Egypt, right? Yep. Let me at the uh, the obelisk of Kamun, double O. Ow. Let's see. Yeah, I really think we're supposed to make a jump for it. Hmm. Is there really nothing here? Am I just being dumb again? Like, that ring is there for a reason with something, but we can't reach it, or ac actually... Nope! <laughs> Down she goes. Holy. At least we got the checkpoint here again. Hmm. Yep. 
Okay, was expecting her to jump off the wall. Okay, am I just pressing the wrong buttons? Okay. Look away or look to the wall. Press back. There. Hmm. Do we still have the artifact? Yeah, I think you. I think you. Yeah. Oh, we do. Since nice. We, got, we passed through the checkpoint again. Is there yeah, nothing this way except for another painful death? <laughs> hmm. Yeah, we are missing something here. Okay. Going to do a quick look up again, like we did with earlier. Yeah, but so we don't stay stuck here. Uh, let's see. We got, I'm pretty sure this is how we're supposed to traverse uh, to that. But something is just not connecting, I think. Okay, come on. Tomb Raider Anniversary. And then. Obelisk of Kamun. Set the volume to zero. Okay, let's see. Uh, is that before or after? Skipping through in big chunks. Is that? Okay, that's this room, I believe. Or near it. Uh, yeah, that's this room. Forwarding. It's the artifacts. And yeah, she is she is just supposed to grab onto the ledge, but she is just not doing that. So the physics are just working on us. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, the annoying thing here is that most of the she is supposed to grab onto well, not the bit right before us, but the bit next to it. She is not going for that. She's reaching for it, but she's not accurately jumping for it. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Hang on, let me see the jump. Let me see this one. Okay, let's see. Right. Maybe uh, if we. No, way too low. Hmm. Yeah, this, this this might be a run killing glitch <laughs> for run killing. Uh, just a glitch that we can't get by, or perhaps. Uh, uh, um, okay, do not. Okay, go up, but push back. Do not. Okay, push back and then jump, and then use the rope. Oh, God damn it! There's I got a no video hook. on. Okay, look up, look up. See the see the middle hook. Yeah. Yalara is supposed to go up, jump, and hook into the middle hook so she can go up there. Okay. Oh, so, oh, so you can reach it then. Just we need to manually aim for it then. No, you can't really manually aim. You just have to like go up to the second ledge, push back, and there jump we go. There, middle hook. Okay, so. <laughs> Grabbing onto that latch was the glitch. Okay, that was a bit more obtuse than it could have been. They could have had a, a bit more to... Uh, yeah, to have it make a ledge over there so we can jump back and grapple onto it. Okay. <laughs> well, luckily no le no uh, game-ending glitch then. Yeah, luckily. Okay, yeah. thank you for looking that up. Yeah, thank you, Rom. You, you deserve an extra big bone and a big uh, juicy steak. Steak. Thanks. Yeah, let, let's not stake the wolf. They're not a vampire. Wrong kind of steak. Okay. okay. It's all of these. I'm talking about Thanks. food here. Okay, can we jump down 
I mean, I think you can hit Damn the it. water, but not the ledge. I, I was going for a swan dive. Okay, that totally should have knocked the hell out, but let's not let's not question things too much. Uh, she's going to have one hell of a how would you call that? A stone burn? Shave burn? Whatever. Good question. Abrasion. Abrasion is the word right. I think. Yeah. Anyways, last of these. Seal of Anubis. Seal of Anubis. Or the Seal okay. of Anubis. Uh, I'm going to get so much entertainment out of that. The, <laughs> the Egyptians accidentally called their god of death a noob. He's a noob or a knob. <laughs> Not sure if that's better. Uh, what the? That was a fish. What do you think it was? I didn't think it was excitement. I just saw something. Weagle of what? Don't tell me it's like the old crow. Don't tell me it's a cro oh, it's just a fish. <laughs> Don't forget the M on the med pack. Yeah. Oop. Hello, looping back. You know what would have made the, a, a good chunk of this whole place trivial? Explosives. C4. <laughs> yes. Yes. Is it luckily now illegal? Yeah, again, Laura isn't that kind of uh, archaeologist. She's probably had to deal with a few quote-unquote colleagues who were, but luckily she is not. Yeah, I think she only use explosives if there's a monster she needs to defeat. Yeah. Or there is just a cave-in or, uh, or something that needs to be removed. And so we get right back... Oh. Right back Those to the guys start. Again? Yep. Apparently. What are they? Well, let's see. They're Anubis or yes, sort oh, of Centaur. Oh, hello. Centaur. I, I there's... Centaur. There we go. Just notice the glow of that. I was actually just going to ask. Maybe there's some junk in here. As you remember, we have a, a slight unique way to say Centaur in Swedish. No. Oh. Kentaur. Similar to we, that uh, Kentor, Kentosaurus or something? Uh, yeah, we, we also replaced the C with a K. Yeah, okay. Good. Now we know Same where thing. Mortal Kombat takes place. <laughs> <laughs> Since they replaced C's with K's. Oh. Uh, now I want someone to do a fan dub of all of the Mortal Kombat games that have voice lighting, but everyone has a Swedish accent. <laughs> That's probably a video somewhere out there on YouTube. Oh dear uh, god, that probably is somewhere. Uh, what the heck are these? Huggers! They are somewhat feline with the fangs and such. Yeah, and it... They're mummified. Mummified saber tiger? Yeah, they're a bit too humanoid to be saber tooth, but they're some sort of hybrids. Uh, yeah, let's see. They're either hybrid or a mummified extinct species. Possibly made extinct for a good reason. Oh, hello. Okay, it's one of these kinds of puzzles. Are we. When we turn one, the adjacent ones turn. Okay, these can be pretty annoying. Let's see. So Do like these the... need to face... It's the same wall. Okay, that one needs to be turned once now. Same for this. Okay, this one is wrong with the pots. This one as well. Uh, this that is if I am understanding this correctly. So that one needs a different one. It is the on the other side. 
Okay, you need the pike on both sides. I think I know what that thing is on the wall. Or let's do the two things they're holding up there. Uh, which one? Uh, no, the I think, front one. I think that's supposed to be Egyptian beer. <laughs> okay. I think. I do know that... Uh, I think there was a lot of... Uh, uh, beer, that beer was supposed to be one of the things they would send along to the afterlife. Yeah, I think we still got paid in beer. Let's see, all but this one is correct for that. Have we also heard that some were paid in onions? Mm. Oh, garlic, which I am a bit 50 50 on if that's true or not. Some clicks. Let's see, these things can always be really annoying, and it's. Let's see. I'm pretty sure if we line them up for one, that they're not going to be lined up for anything. Maybe they need to face the way or the thing that they're looking at, but then that one I think doesn't. That's, I think the idea is that each one's supposed to. Okay, so oh, make it so oh. that each. Corner has the image. That... I probably screwed this thing up plentiful by now with this. Checkpoint. Uh, let me try a bit more. If if this middle, if these need to be what is here, that would make more sense. Let's see. I think blue needs to go on blue. The jugs need to go on the jugs, and the spear thingies need to be on the spear. Yeah. Or they need to be the these need this yeah, the image needs to be between the images of it. But yeah, let's uh yeah. might wanna might wanna hit the do a quick reload save. because we probably shuffled it like a bunch of freaking <laughs> like a card the uh, deck of cards. None of us are magicians, none of us had a fix that. <laughs> Sit down. There was. I clicked when it lined up. <laughs> Why didn't you shoot, Lara? I think we, that's because he's. That's because he's somehow managed to swap to the pistols. Yeah, I, I was swapped. I was swapped to them to try and save up a bit of ammo. Not that that's really necessary. But oh, you, I like, thought she would the, swap a bit quicker. It swapped in slow motion. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, so the jugs go to the side. To, like, the right side. If we turn this one twice like this... Yes. It lines those up. But the rest is on the line now. These, This one is, but that one isn't. Um, let's see. I think a good chunk of puzzles... Ancient puzzles could be easily solved by just grabbing something and then jamming it so that it doesn't move while you're trying to move everything else. Probably. Yeah, that's the problem so far. For the when you move one, the others move two. It's going to need a lot of planning ahead. Or just a bunch of random flailing. These one are good now, and these ones are not. Let's see. If I turn this one, these line up. That lines up, but that one doesn't line up. Okay. Now we need to have this one turn one to the left, but we need to get the other ones back to this again. So... I hate Rubik's Cubes. <laughs> I've never solved one in my damn life. Apparently I have. You did? I don't remember. That, I think I recall my mother telling me that I solved one when I was a very little. Huh. Okay. 
Okay, and then this way. I, I know, I know. I have tried other times and failed, but been close. So I wonder how the heck a a so much younger version of me that they don't remember it so bit back then. Mm. I don't then know. We messed it up. I think because someone claimed they sold it, but they actually cheated. And now you wonder, how do you cheat on a Rubik's Cube? You remove all the <laughs> stickers and then put them so that it looks like you did it. Yeah, that's what they did. But it only works on those that have stickers. Yeah, you can also just pull the blocks off. So, you can? Yep. <laughs> yeah, oh, but... yeah, that's true. You can just, like, pry the blocks off. I did not know that, but again, I've always been curious how the heck they work. But there are many parts of I feel like, wait, shouldn't that have fallen off when I do that? So I might actually investigate to see how the heck those damn things are built. There was actually there was actually a a Saturday uh, morning cartoon based on the freaking Rubik's cube at one point. It was one of those uh, Scooby Doo knockoffs, I believe. Oh, I thought you were say Cubics, but all right. Uh, Scooby. Why well, were the most Scooby Doo knockoffs made by Hanna Barbera and themselves? A bunch of them, yeah. Yeah, but we can't, can't see most of them. So I'm just going that... to look up. I'm just going to look up the solution of this stupid thing. I yeah, for pause the... in case the in case the not saber tooth tiger mummies try to kill us. Mid uh, they, you know they trigger later when okay. we go up. It seems. We we keep an eye on them. Uh, let's see, what was this level called again? Let's see, ah, yeah, Sanctuary of the Skion, because now we need to go look up this one. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Yeah, I think that they are the only ones that says Skion. For other times I hear that word, people say Skion, not Skion. Is this one specifically on the... If that's a Let's Play, let's go with just a... Okay, kill the things. All right. <clears throat> Was it easy? Yeah, I, I paused it just before... Oops. Paused it just before they start with the puzzle, so I can follow along. Still got hurt there. A little bit. Okay. I hope this isn't. I hope the one who made this video knows what they're doing with this, and that they're not just flailing around as well. Okay. Grab ourselves some goodies. <coughs> Not this one. The fun fact, I got the uh, main Batman Arkham trilogy. And a sale. Okay. Congrats! The only game I'm missing is Batman Arkham Origins. Origins? Yeah. yeah there the was though. another... There was another there was Arkham a... game, sort of, the 2.5D one, but uh, I think Black most game. people ignore one. Yeah. I think I misheard from there a bit. Black Gate. Oh, not that. I thought you said Batman. <laughs> no, Batman is... is... He's from... Uh, no More Heroes. He's from No More Heroes. Wait. 
I've got it. Why am I surprised that there's an actual character called Batman? <laughs> because you're a bit naive on that sort of stuff. Also, he's the father of Batgirl. You know, the Lolita chick with the baseball bat and alcoholism. Okay. Ollie? Uh, what was my... Alright, the... Uh, the bat, uh, we're on the back of a swing. A, a sphinx. Why did I almost say swinx? <laughs> okay. You know, I've always found it funny how apparently the riddle of the sphinx couldn't be solved by ages until somebody figured out, oh, they mean a human. Yep. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, Laura's been doing that a few times now. She's actually grabbing onto the wrong side of the ladder. Lara? That's there we go, that's better. You know what, fine, screw it. That's how ladders work. Okay. At least... Okay. Yeah. But yeah, when you think about it, the riddle of the Sphinx is incredibly easy. Uh, yeah, that... The, uh... Yep. <clears throat> the tale of, uh... It, the creature that walks on... <clears throat> four legs in the morning, two in the afternoon, and three in the evening. With the passage of time being signified as age, you know, being uh, a hint to age. Since, well, baby on four legs, adult on two, and then the elderly with, well, not as much typically anymore, but a walking cane often back in the yeah. day. Yeah, uh, I can see why people would get it wrong. But now the Riddler's answer is so well known that everyone knows it. Yeah. It's one of those things, like, I vaguely remember there being something from an episode of, like, Star Trek The Next Generation, which, you know, was made in, like, the 80s. was, like, a, a math problem that couldn't be solved at the time, and it gets mentioned at the end of one episode that's still unsolved. And... Then it turns out a couple of years later, somebody did get around to solving the problem. <laughs> Granted, in the world of Star Trek, Mad Max did happen before. So, who knows, maybe they did lose the answer in the Achaeus. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh dear. But yeah, I... Uh, I want to stream the ba uh, the Batman, no, I almost said Batman, uh, the Batman or uh, Arkham games at some point. Uh, probably with Origins included. So I did buy the uh, trilogy on the Ow! Uh, hello! Steam. On Steam, yeah. Even though I have two of them as physical copies already, just to be certain that they work and all that and have the DLC. What the? Atlantean Dragons. I think gargoyles. Because at this point, I'm just rolling with it. I think more gargoyles. And did they just friendly fire each other? I think so. They friendly fired at the same time. They also shot you. Oop, oop, that was a bad spot. Oh, if they were gargoyles, they were missing their skin because they could see some bone and some flesh and sinew there. Yeah, yeah that's right. with, with most of these uh, things. Yeah, they, they are undead something. That is the worst staircase ever. Gotta get your exercise in. Oh, I've seen worse. <laughs> <laughs> I did not see the grooves. I did. I. I. <laughs> okay, I saw. I saw these, but I thought the traps were going to be active. Uh, that's clip number three. Uh. Well, I don't know what's supposed to happen. Oop. Okay, we need to swing to get across. Then I'm actually kind of curious what a uh, a '60s version of uh, oh you uh. you cock -tease. Now I'm actually curious what a '60s version of Lara would be like. The Austin the Austin Powers. Uh, uh, damn it. Laura's is Austin Powers. Or is that just indie? I think it's indie. I mean, I'm pretty certain most pop culture adventures were inspired by Indiana Jones. 
Although I'm using yeah. Indiana Jones was inspired by pop culture adventure novels from like the 30s about archaeologists and whatnot. Yeah. A lot of the original idea was to be a guy with a whip and a hat, but they realized that it might be getting copyright issues. So I decided to completely redo her a few times until we have this Laura. Yeah. What's funny is that one version had her be uh, a Latina and had the name Laura Cruz, but then they changed it to her being British and named her Lara Croft. There's, yeah. a bit of a, there's a bit of an easter egg to that. Uh, in, I, I think, the Legend trilogy, you can actually see that Lara has a bit of a tan to it. Which, yeah. you know, okay. makes some, which, you know, makes sense. You know, she goes out a lot. Yeah, for, I remember this. For, they did, they, I did hear mention that she was supposed to be South American. Yep. But the reason they changed that it was for they realized they knew nothing about South America. So they felt like, we can't make it South America if we know nothing about this. We can't make it. They felt that they would be doing a disservice. So they made her British for the developers were from Britain, so. A bit of yeah, uncommon yeah. self awareness from the court of time. Yeah. yeah. Awareness. It does fit the joke that the British just sort of. Go to a place and then steal everything, though. Yeah, <laughs> because uh, Laura is just she is still a tomb raider, as in most of the stuff she actually just stores in craft manner. Yeah, actually, it reminds me. This is very old, though. But someone from the Middle East did a similar rant on this, but also then thanked the English uh, English for stealing many. Back in the day, still many artifacts from the Middle East. Due to during this year, certain groups were blowing up. Ah, uh, yeah, that's. Archaeological sites out of religious extremism. I think we, yeah. I think we know to, to say which group it was. Yeah, we don't really have to say it, but it is kind of funny that. Well, we hate you enough that you stole our shit, but. We hate yeah, them yeah. even more. Yeah, pretty much. We hate them even more, and also it's kind of funny that you actually managed to save our history by just happening to store it in your own museum. Yeah. They saved their history by stealing it. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that's irony. Yeah. Is that kind of irony? Maybe. I, I I I often think I know what irony means, and then I just freaking forget it again if if, if I know what it is or not. Yeah, yeah. irony has nothing to do with iron. Just remember that. Yeah. Uh, so you ironing your clothes is not ironic. Hmm. I think I saw something on TV tropes on this. What is uh, ironic? And yeah, that to think that something is ironic when it is not is ironic in itself, or something like it. It's just a bit of a mind cruise, but... On the, but on yeah, the other yeah. hand, we also live in an age where satire and irony are dead, so... At this Basically. point, who really cares? Uh, I feel that satire and irony is still alive, just... Some groups of people clearly don't understand it at all. True, but on the other hand, we also live on the timeline where... Fanta Man was president of the United States, so... <laughs> That's definitely one way to name him. Who the heck is Fanta Man? Uh, just think orange and I think you'll figure it out from there. Oh. Yeah. Anyways, continuing to try and... Uh, this should work. You yep. could said annoying orange. I could have, actually. Okay, that's... Oh, wait, we, we're talking about the YouTube character, right? No, we're not talking... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's him joking. 40... Okay, you know what? Screw it. Look I, I... I... You were... Yep. The drug is not that dim. Yeah, I'm just pulling your legs, right? I heard people doing that, the comparison yoke. So if I like... Uh, I was as well ahead to it. 
Oh yeah, uh, let's see. Arkham games will probably start with Arkham Origins since that's the first uh, chronologically. Uh, not sure what we may mix that in with though. I, I was thinking... <laughs> Funnily enough, I was thinking to mix it with Doom and Doom Eternal, but then we are missing a spot in between. So we could use Alan that Wake. to just... Hmm. No, I, no, I feel like Alan Wake will work better on, like, Halloween. Yeah. Okay, can we... Yes. Cheese that. And there we go. Hmm. Okay, we could just tie something from uh, whatever franchise we'll be streaming next into the... In the, between the last two Arkham games. So, did we say, say we could do of the Doom, start playing Dawn of War? I could, yeah. <laughs> Go from one hellscape to another. Uh, though I'll have to check which of the Dawn of Wars. Probably, the mo definitely the main lines one and two. Um, uh, a bit less sure like... about Retribution and... Uh, Chaos Rising. With, with Retribution, at the very least, we're going to go through only one of the campaigns because it's basically, uh, well, it's one campaign that you can go through with six different factions. I, I actually six. have the original Dawn of War and its expansion packs. Okay, I, I, I actually forgot about the expansion packs. I don't have a single one of those, I think. But there's several. Yeah, there's Dark Crusade, Salt Storm, and Winter Assault. With Winter Assault being the first, and Soulstorm being the last. Okay. I... Yeah, they, they should probably be sheep by now. Sure, it doesn't mean that they will be, but worth a look at least. I heard that at least one of those expansions is basically reviled by the fandom. Soulstorm. Yeah, oh. yeah. I did not know this, why? Basically, there was nothing really to add. They only added one extra faction, and they really, really just messed with some of the stuff that uh, Dark Crusade did a bit better. But really, there was nothing to add, and that's about it. The only new faction they added was the Sisters of Battle, and I'm pretty sure a bunch of people were expecting the Tyranids. And it's basically just the same old, somehow, three groups of people who are trying, whose main jobs are to save humanity, managed to point guns at each other because the Imperium of Man has worse bureaucracy issues than most modern day governments. Oh. Yeah, yeah that's. Okay. One of the reasons because when the Emperor died, some idiot decided to add new laws upon his original work that was not to be tampered with. But they tampered with anyway. Yeah. And add about 10,000 years of adding new laws. Yeah, you not, can see the problem. Not to mention the whole place being a massive fascist problem in the first place, and the whole thing just kind of starts falling apart, it seems, anyways. Yeah. Yeah, I've got like. Damn it. And you got the literal embodiment of chaos in in many multiple ways, and aliens straight out of like a mixture of the Zerg from StarCraft and the Xenomorphs from Aliens, and then you got the zombie, the Necro zombies, the, the uh, no the Techno zombies I mean, and then you got the Tau who are space communists I think, like alien space communists. Yeah, yeah sort I think of like that. People say that, but I think someone actually did an investigation Ow. and realized they have extremely little to do with communists to begin with. That there's some similarities, but calling them space communists is kind of incorrect. I think I saw something of that recently. There, you know, some of their aspects are supposed to be based off of uh, pre-communist China, I believe. Ah, oh, that I did not know. The young... Okay, that's when we They um... totally didn't need to close that door on us. Oh, uh, yeah. But yeah, we'll have to see what of the Dawn of War games we will be streaming. Definitely 1 and 2. We'll look at the some of the expansion packs for 1. Uh, Soulstorm, I think we can scratch off. <laughs> unless we go for like a, a self-torture thing or something. Though it doesn't sound... 
that bad specifically. If I remember correctly, a lot of people do still buy Soulstorm, but that's because of the uh, what it was. It was a mod. Okay, some people might like the Sisters of Battle, but that's not what I mean. Is uh, hang on, Mandalore did a video on it. Okay. I would not be surprised in the case of uh, too little content with too, for too much mm. money. Which is still uh, sadly Ultimate a Apocalypse thing. mod, that's the one. The Ultimate Apocalypse mod. I think I recall him making a video about that, though I'd forgotten the contents. The gist of it is that it's a multiplayer only mod that makes it so that you have a lot more insane shit in the okay. game. And, a few, and even. Some extra add-ons give you extra, like, traces to play, like, the Tyranids and whatnot. And the, one of the requirements is that you need Soulstorm, because some of the stuff in Soulstorm is required as basic. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, we'll check. I think there was, at, there was at least one other expansion pack oh, way too early. Uh, was there a third? Was it just that? Okay, there was... Okay, so the so in order of release, uh, for Dawn of War 1, it was Winter Assault, which allowed you to play as the Eldar and the Imperial, Guards? Imperial Guard, the Imperial Guardsmen. There was Dark Crusade, which added the Tau, and I don't remember their names, but I know they are the Techno Zombies. Necrons? As well as the orcs. The Necrons, yeah, the, the Necrons alongside the orcs you could already play as, as well as Chaos. So it's a free for all for one planet. And Soulstorm tried the same thing, but it didn't work out as well. And in that one, I think the only new group that got added was the Sisters of Battle. Yeah, okay. I think you, you did a little wrong. I think they added Dark Eldar into the first expansion, for regular Elder was already there, as far as I remember. For I remember playing the first campaign, and then having to fight alongside Eldar. Uh, I think he mean, he think I think he means more as a playable faction for multiplayer and such. Uh -huh. Since most of the time, like I think in the original Dawn of War, was mostly just space marines with different colors. Yeah. How okay, are you? So, I'm pretty sure they, there were many other species along there, but they other expansion did add more. Oh, damn it. Well, you're dead. Ow. And He's that's one for the down. highlight reel. But uh. yeah, I remember playing original Dawn of War with other expansion. Do Then there were Eldar. But then when I did get the expansions, then we got the Dark Eldors and a bunch of other things. Yeah, I don't remember which one had, I think it was, um... I think it was Dark Crusade that added the Dark Eldor. Okay. As well as the Tau, as playable factions. Yeah, mm -hmm. Tau I know was not there on the vanilla. Okay, so Winter Assault, Dark Crusades as two likely ones, not insured. Uh, Dawn of War 2 base game. Uh, stop. And yeah, I, 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 I get off you freaking. <laughs> he just punted in the. Uh, yeah, punt his kick. Just punched in the face a bit weakly, I'll admit. Uh, yeah. Uh, Winter Assault, Dark Crusade, Dawn of War 2. I'm currently playing through Chaos Rising to take a look at how that is again. And yeah, with Retribution, we'll probably be playing at. We will play through that with one of the uh, factions. Maybe a second. Uh, and. Yeah, the, the thing with Retribution is that the campaign is basically yeah, the same, it's just different with which faction you go through it. But we'll probably be going through it with the orcs at the very least. Because, well, it's the freaking orcs. <laughs> uh oh, no, I have that song stuck in my head again. 
Fucking base football hooligans. That's one way to describe them. If we're going to the, try the Mad Max figure as well. Uh, Gaijin Goomba made a video somewhat recently about the orcs and drawing comparisons to the uh, to a bunch of uh, <clears throat> uh, football fan uh, top cultures, I believe. Like I said, hooligans. Yeah. Yeah. Oh dear. I also saw a little bit of that video. It was a little bit comical. Okay, I do hope that he will do some more uh, <clears throat> Warhammer stuff like that. He typically has some interesting insights into things. Though for the my life of me, I could never remember the names of many uh, yokai. Like, I know Kitsune and uh, uh, the... I'm just blanking on their name life on the air. The, yep. uh... Mm, tanuki. That's one. Uh, tanuki is an actual animal. Yeah. yeah. He's a pound is a dog species. Yeah, raccoon dogs. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that surprised me. I thought they were... When I saw them, I thought, huh, I guess they're some kind of raccoon? No, nope. Raccoon dogs. So they are related to dogs. I'm not exactly sure um, how close raccoons and dogs are in the family genus or whatever branch. Uh, not all, for they are, as I all understand, tanuki are not related to raccoons at all. They just and call raccoon dogs due to appear, as, I, as far yeah. as I understand. Okay. Yeah, as far as I can, yeah, like Rakir said, it's more of a, they kind of look like that, so we are just going to that. Yeah. Uh, so I, guess I they... remember Snow Women. Yeah. Yeah, the only they... thing is... What? Hmm? I would say I was going to do do a yokai of folklore. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Oh, wait. I'm being dumb. You just remembered you could climb that. Yep. <laughs> to be fair, I actually kind of tend to also forget that. Uh, I was gonna say, Hillian, you got a PS4 or something? Oh uh, yeah, I have a PS4 light right underneath my... Uh, yeah, it's on my desk underneath the big-ass uh, stand that my father made for my monitor and some other stuff on the side. I should... Okay. I'm not sure what to really call it, since it is a bit bigger than a stand or whatever. Sleep and being dumb again. I was... because my brain thought... Uncharted? Uh, I have at least one of the Uncharted games. I know I there's the a reroute. Last. I, if I remember correctly, there's the there's a legacy collection for all the first three games for PS4. Okay. As well as the Thief Sand, which is the one for the PS4, and the Lost Legacy as well, the PS4 as well. Okay, I think it's a Thieves' End that I have. I'll need to double check. They rele released a a movie of that game uh, not long ago, didn't they? Yeah, with yeah. Tom Holland. I, I didn't hear too much about it after that. Yeah, it was a story if you even if you heard of it before. The, the trailers for it was way too often up. Then suddenly silence. The movie happened, and we just forgot about it. Yeah, for I'm used to some YouTubers, YouTubers uh, having to do something with it, and it pop up on my recommendations. But nope, not at all. Yeah, that, that's a thing these days. That's something. Okay, I think you know, I thought Ink was messing about on the windowsill, but no. Uh, yeah. With a lot of movies these days, back in the days you would typically hear about a movie still some years ago in mainstream open talk and such. Uh, but nowadays it's more that, uh, how do we get to that? <clears throat> it's more just the day after it releases or the week or so, the things just go radio silence because there's the next thing already. 
Yeah, but there are many movies that you hear almost non-stop about, but then again, I have reduced the amount of uh, YouTube channels I realized were just drama channels. Yeah. Yeah. When, honestly, with how much people just bitch about random things on the internet. Yeah. People say, this is too woke, or this is too something, or this is too other, and it's like, okay, don't watch it, why the fuck are you telling me about it? Uh, yeah. yeah, typically stuff like that is just going to draw more attention to something. Cause the, I, it, it's been happened in the past a few times where uh, I... I don't know, ex I can't remember many specifics, but at the very least with like Dante's Inferno, that they were basically outrage baiting with some of the advertising they were doing to try and, well, get people angry and get people talking about it and thus, uh, yeah, spreading the news and such. Outrage oh, baiting sounds stupid. Because it is. The strife in the fact, that's what it's called. Yeah, that's more that when someone is trying to hide something, and by doing so, they are actually drawing more attention to it. Like, uh, uh, if someone, there's, there is apparently a photo or some a doctored photo of Putin, for example, that uh, he you know, supposedly constantly tries to get erased from the internet or something, and because of that, people just share it more and more stuff like that. The more you try to hide something and the, the more louder you are with trying to hide something, the more people are going to notice that you are trying to hide something. Oh dear. <clears throat> Wait, okay, did you realize? Good progress. What the heck are... Oh, okay. Don't ask me if, if this would actually work with lights or such, but then again, we've been dealing with weird you know, weird agent technology since the start with this game. Yeah, those are crystal, but for some reason I expected something else. Okay, Hello? yeah, the, uh, the one that Lightning. contains... Yeah, the Ooh. one that contains... Sorry, I was looking at uh, the Uncharted game for a second. What Ooh. broke this? Uh, okay, yeah, the one that's basically the first three games, Fortune, Among Thieves, and Deception, is the Nathan Drake collection, which was just released for the PS4. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'll see if I can get my hands on that. Yeah, yeah. I'll be going to came out like 2015, so you can probably run into a copy relatively cheap, or I think you can probably buy it off the, the of, uh, PS, that, PSN. Actually, let me check something. Oh dear. And also, I think I just remember, I think I heard some YouTube talk about the new Unshot movie in reference. They were just, is it like a throwaway reference or just a small comment that they, they, oh yeah, that movie's coming out. It doesn't look that great. But that's what it. Yeah. That no one, it, 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 I agree that to you that I see the trees. I, I, I used to skip the trailers for that one. But a few times I did, I just tried to give it a proper watch. I just... Eh. Okay, that one's just going to hump the wall. Nope. Ow. Okay, that was stupid. Just walking behind something horse-like. Not expecting to get kicked. Uh, you having fun over there? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking about the centaur that's just enjoying the walls a bit. Uh, Intensely. Is it a centaur? I don't know. Definitely not a knuckler way, for then it will be way more horrifying than this. Yeah. I feel like I know what a knuckler way is, but I can't remember from where. Uh, it's, Scottish uh, folklore. Yeah. Is it, ah, uh, it, basically, basically, think a horse. Remove okay. its skin. Okay. Replace the hoops with claws. Put a rider on top and remove his skin. Yeah, a half a rider. You put the torso attached to its back. You then, then you <laughs> make the arms reach the ground. What the heck, Hill? 
Okay, we got two rats with one ball. Can we get another? Yeah, let me see. Uh, but, yeah. And also, remove all monsters from the face on both the heads. Yep. Okay, we got one. But yeah, Nuckleby is horrifying. Do Here's an old, old thing about Nuckleby. It's a fairy. Yeah, an arbiter of death, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and it's a saltwater demonic fairy, or, or some kind of fae. However, it hates sweet water. If it goes on land, it sees a, a running river, it will not cross it. But salt water? Fine. Okay, but yeah. You, uh, hmm? I vaguely remember that being a thing in. You know, it's. Frost Tail? No, no. It's Ruby? Ruby, actually. Yeah. Okay. Uh, long story and spoilers for anybody who gives a shit about Ruby. Uh, one of the. Main, one of the main characters ran his village was attacked by the, by a knock movie Grim and well that's where he and Nora met and being these whole survivors they wound up sticking together since then yeah okay I'm full burger for knuckleby's all horrifying yeah let's see you're going to have to drain this oversized toilet somehow oh I almost forgot another detail Add veins that glows greenish yellow. Yeah, just overall a bad time to be even to even see that thing. Yeah, it is. There's a, another good thing. I'm surprised no one made a horror movie of it yet. To be fair, I think they have, but in, did they never called it enough to be? Yeah. The, this bone series called Grim, but they apparently had a knuckle V, but that was just a human with a human head and hoofs for hands. It's this made me size. very disappointed. There we go. There's a... Okay, yeah, I found, yeah, in some PlayStation Store, the... is that a PlayStation Store, Uncharted, the Nathan Drake collection? There, that's the one. Okay. I'll take a look at that. Uh, I don't think we'll able. To, I don't think we'll be able to stick it to the end here with uh, Lara and Indy with the, the game that we've got planned. But we can definitely set it up somewhere. Yeah, I just sort of remembered. Hey, you're doing adventures. All oh, right, Uncharted. That's a thing. It's. But uh. There you go. And also, I just noticed, you sound a little bit more awake today, Hillian. Okay. May have been because I've had a better you know, breakfast this time. Let's well, I guess that might maybe, maybe have an evening stream, but again, I would say maybe. Yeah. I'm not going to do empty promises. Yeah, that, that, I, I often don't you know, make promises because I, I know I'm not extremely reliable to put it one way i i prefer to make promises for things i consider very important and shall be done yeah but that needs needs to be a thing that is considered important and even then wow. to just be clarify that yeah if i make a promise for something it means i consider it important i just realized these something aren't... go ahead hmm? If I had a nickel for every time I've read a, I found out I've read a manga that involves the protagonist and other protagonists being psychologically traumatized to a point of near, no, of practically no return, I'd have way, way more money than I should, which makes me say, why the fuck is this a thing, Japan? Yeah. <laughs> like, At just to, uh, just grab any, any Shonen Jump magazine. Flip through a random page, and there's another nickel. Yeah. Just, I mean, at least in Chainsaw Man, you could laugh at some of Denji's misfortune before it got really fucked. Yeah, I've heard of that, but I have not seen anything of it, actually. 
though i think it, it has been some good things about from those for it has given people a better awareness of uh, things like ptsd and such yeah you know good enough but you know i kind of could do without the possible incest undertones and a few of those yeah. Okay. Oh, come on, that's time. Yep. Okay, is there another way? Also, since we're running between the Feast of Ra and the Nubus for a bit, that reminds me of a story with uh, <laughs> a bit of a. Hmm. If part Brilliant. of it is a bit ick, but the uh, rest of it is also rather funny. As in, uh, there was at one point a Jesus statue that apparently started quote unquote sweating from the feet or something. And, well, you can guess how some people reacted to that. And, uh, yeah, people Somebody started drinking. Yeah. Uh, that's disgusting. I was gonna go ahead and make a joke and say. Somebody said, well, somebody broke the damn pipes and now the, and now the Jesus statue is leaking. We gotta fix that. Uh, yeah, some people started uh, drinking it uh, as holy water. And then a while later they found out there was a leaky toilet. That, well, was right next to this wall as the same statue. Yeah, why am I not surprised? Ugh. Also, I was right. It literally was somebody... Some a pipe broke, we gotta fix that again. Yeah, yep. just not this pipe you expected. At, at least it was only water. Yeah, I, I thought you were to do some other jokes since you already said uh, between two uh, gods' legs here. <laughs> uh, that does remind me of something uh, I did make a joke with, uh, with one of my uh, teachers at one point, whilst we were... Uh, I think at a museum or something, and there was an Indian part. And uh, yeah, you know how a lot of uh, Indian, uh, <clears throat> as in from India and such, to be, that I make it clear that I'm not talking about uh, Native Americans. Uh, you know how many of those have like multiple arms, uh, heads, and all that sort of stuff? Well, I uh, joke. Yeah. Uh, you think they had multiple below the belt as well? Oh! <laughs> and he did actually laugh from that. Oh, hello. Oh, this dear. Be... Oh, God. That always been something I heard from uh, Smite. That uh, some people from India were unhappy how they portray Kali in that game. But when people investigated, they realized the way they portray Kali in the game was very straightforwardly correct to how they could them themselves portray her in the temples. I had actually heard of that, yeah. They yeah, should feel maybe... stupid about that. Yeah. What game? It's Might. Might. Uh, yeah, I haven't played that. I played apparently it for a while, and it is pretty fun if you play it casually. There we go. Yeah, uh, apparently, if, what was it? They did not like her being topless, do she have horrifying, um... I'm sure they call it that oh, I got it. I, I got it. You're supposed to swim there. Yeah. And... Oh dear. I vaguely remember some pictures. Hang on, let me look up Colleen. God damn! Okay, you know what? I'm gonna be stuck here for a while. Kali... God. Smite? Okay. Now, not Smite, it's just that I vaguely remember having seen a statue or a picture of Kali, and yeah, she didn't have a shirt. Yeah. They forced the developers of Smite to give her a shirt. And then it turns out she actually doesn't even wear a shirt in her own mythology, so it's like... Okay, so we were correct, but you forced us to give her a shirt because you thought we were incorrect. More of they thought they were... ...sexualizing her? Or something? Yeah, have they she even literally seen doesn't it? Wear a she literally doesn't wear a freaking shirt from the get-go. I don't think that counts as sexualizing when you go from what you've already got as, you know, the default. 
Yeah, mm -hmm. that, that's what people call the said it was a bit hypocritical. Uh, people were calling out the bullshit. But they were forced to do it anyway. I think there was a bit more to it as well, but I'm unsure. And yeah, hello there's there in way more to it. Yeah, oh, hello, Noon. Hey, Noon. And, and uh, yeah, there's probably a lot more insanity to it. There's, yeah, there's probably a lot more to it, but at the same time, um, if. What are you looking for? Uh, the, co you know, the code for these is in the water. Wrong way around again. Uh, this one. It's a bit annoying with trying to change. I don't know. Hmm. Try diving. Maybe we yeah, can see it. Let's see. Okay. Up, left, down, right. 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 Uh, there we go. There we go. Yep. Oh, I, yep. I hope you're doing well, Noon. Uh, been busy or anything like that? Yep. I'm approaching the end of my uh, holiday days, so yeah, <laughs> back to work soon enough. Though I have requested a, I, I have a, I have a lot of uh, extra days to call off or to request off more. Uh, so I, I asked in, um, I put in a, a few, the uh, words I've asked it to, uh, or requested a bunch off for March as well, but whether that will be accepted or allowed, we'll have to see still. Yeah, for... It, it is due to the anniversary, ain't it? Hmm. The anniversary of... Uh, what do you mean? Our? <laughs> uh, that yeah, that as well, yeah. <laughs> uh, actually, I... Hmm. Uh, I'll need to even double check if I have that work then or not i wrote um okay we yes i do have work then but it's an early shift so yeah we can still do an evening uh, stream for that uh, still actually no real clue as to what to do unless uh yeah all of you want to join me in some sort of party game or something maybe uh not very much for a party game but i could say we could do what we did the last uh one that we Took on game, we go to stream in the future early and make one a three hour special. Mm. I don't recall if we started with Dark Messiah early or not, but we could just it go for Messiah. another long stream. I... It mm. was Dark Messiah, we did a three hour special on. Yeah, but I, I don't know if we did it early or not. Uh, early, right. I think it was like a one or two months early. Oh, oh hello. Oh. Actually, I'm not sure if it was a three hour or four hour, actually. Yeah, four hour, I'm pretty sure. What the fuck is yeah, it? If it was four hour or almost four hour, we'd be more rather tired afterwards. Oh, this is just going. This is just going to cost me a lot of ammo. Not ammo. Health. Wait. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Were they coming at us at the same time there that we critical hit at the I, wrong one or something? Hey, I'm sure. Okay, here's something funny. Uh, oh. The entire basically Warhammer Dawn of War 1 with all of its expansion packs is 100 and. 7.95 solas, which apparently, according to what I found, it translates to $28.10. Okay. Uh, the economy. Basically, very cheap, the then. Last. Yeah, very uh, cheap. Okay, that was lost. Oh, then we could, uh, then Keon can buy 
Dawn of Wars, all Dawn of War uh, expansions build up a problem, really, then. Yeah, I'll take a look at that. Uh, it can still happen that prices vary per region and such. Uh, where are we even going? To... Let's um, not <laughs> make a random jump. Uh, but yeah. I over... Maybe... Hmm. It's always good to have a backup uh, online. So I'll have my physical copy. I'll have the <clears throat> copy on Steam. And yeah, we can see when we go do the Dawn of Wars then. And combined... Actually, no, good. Uh, yeah, we'll, we can see how... We already have plans at the moment, like Laura... Uh, and in the uh, in these games, then after that I remember uh, putting in, planning in the Prince of Persia games. So now we can add uh, Doom, uh, Doom, and Doom Eternal to that. And let's see, is, are we supposed to just make that jump? Hmm. Uh, yep. Maybe we could play a three, four hour special of a Prince of Persia or Doom on the eighth. Could be. Uh, let, let's see here. Uh, so yeah, what we have planned at the moment is Tomb Raider, Indiana Jones, Prince of Persia. Uh, okay, nice, but not what we were going for. And Doom. And also Batman, or at least the Arkham series. Can we make this? No, we cannot. Hmm. Uh, I'm not missing anything there, I think. Tomb Raider, Indiana Jones, uh, Doom, Arkham, and Prince of Persia. Yeah, I don't yeah, think I'm right. working anything and, with that at the moment. Yeah, and Dawn of War after those? Yeah, Dawn of War. But <laughs> I forgot that one. Yeah, either after or along. I guess it can also depend if which one, if any of them actually become a main game or a side game. True. Let's see. Yeah, the same way. Yeah, the same way now. I'm hoping. I think we have to jump from here. This is a little bit closer. Yeah, there we go. Oh, hello. Okay, we need to put the pieces we already have in to open up the door to the not to the last piece. I almost said last piece. <laughs> um. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> my brain is a bit double tasking at the moment. <laughs> There, there. Here's a fun fact. Mm -hmm. Oh? Okay, so remember how I mentioned fear, like, I think the last stream or something like that? Yeah. Uh, yep. Apparently there was one part where... That got caught, of course. But there was apparently one part where you were supposed to, like, be on a car chase sequence, shooting at replicas who were chasing you with more, on motorcycles. Okay. And I, I think I see how to get to the other one. I think I heard of it. I can unsure. I vaguely remember hearing of it, reading of it, and basically it got cut. They probably couldn't figure out how to get the whole thing working, so they just got it. Uh, okay. Makes sense. Sometimes you, you, it's good to just cut out away something in case you end up just breaking the game or something else. And then there's also a bit of the question how they could get the bullet time to work with uh, a driving section. Uh -huh. Yeah. Ah. There we go. That was a bit of a blind jump. Let's see. Hmm. So yeah, we've we've got things planned out for a good long while with uh, what games will. Nope. We'll be looking at the stream. Um, oh, yeah. Hmm. 
let's not jump from there. Let's go from here where it's more insured that we'll land. Okay. No. Wait. Yep. Oh, we've okay, hit there's... two. We've hit two hours. Well, we might as well watch the final. Get the thing in. Watch the final cutscene and then. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. Getting into the well. last leg of the game. Actually, let's. Yep. No looting. That would have been much shorter of a trip. Oh. So there's a rear entrance and we literally could have just gone in, blown out the back and just wrapped the thing in and leave. What have you to say for yourself? The gods favor action, not counsel. Yet it is this council that rules over you today. You rule over nothing. Atlantis is in ruin. Nothing can change that. Everything must burn. Only then can the Seventh Age begin. path to madness. I wash my hands. For your treachery. For using the knowledge of the Skion to unleash our armies the Skion against is us. The Scion can Actually, no, I'm the only one that calls it a Forever Scion. from the secret order of the Three. Condemn you to shame in the frozen limbo of eternity. It cannot be stopped. The wheels of Cathar are already in motion. Doom will find you both. I rise from the dust of your bones to finish what I start. of Atlantis once and the Skion holds its history it holds far <laughs> more than that all the knowledge of the ancients things none of you could even comprehend what is the seventh age how far are you willing to go to find out Lara Not far enough, I'm afraid. Kill her quickly. We have work to do. I'm gonna enjoy this. Enjoy oh. watching. I'm cutting. There we go. Natla is the former queen of uh, Atlantis, so people probably could have guessed that somewhat. You don't. You don't have. Ooh. You don't have like a face that sharp without either being massively evil or having one really botched job at like the um, surgery. Plastic surgeon. Yeah. That. Oh dear. Also, a little funny story that you made to be mentioned. What time I play Skyrim Exploring? I found a cave, I go through and I realized, oh, this is the back entrance to this voice cave. <laughs> also, 
there's a literal mining entrance to the temple that's yeah. the rear entry that's apparently just the exit and we literally could have just like gone out literally gone through the back and just open the door yeah. and just grab the thing and leave. <laughs> the only, there's only there were abandoned rooms that like some people may have been there and found it in the past. Uh, I, I think with the back door, uh the probably some mining company uh <clears throat> that was probably dug by some mining company and they just run into something they can't drill through and instead of actually investigating they just go fuck this we're out and just <laughs> piss off yeah. and... I'm not yeah. surprised if they run into the monsters or no we refuse to work near monsters goodbye yeah okay we unlocked all of this let's save and there's probably there's a bit more cutscene after this. Also, Larson very clearly whiffed that shot on purpose. And with that, another save, might as well. And with that, we'll call it a stream. And one more time, we get a backdrop, the backdrop change. Hey, it looks like somebody was actually mining in this place. Okay. Yeah. Let's head on over here. Okay, everyone's present. Close up the game, and let's go look for someone to raid. Thank you for I'm the I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> okay. You guys, good luck with whoever you're raiding. I'm okay. Gonna See you this next time. Went wrong. And thank yeah. you for joining. Okay. Um, no worries. Yeah. Have a good night. So yeah. <laughs> okay. Browser. Open that up. Go to Twitch because I, I, which I always have ready open, and change the screen share to the browser so Drakir can of course look along. And yeah, thank you for watching at noon. Let's see. We have Pexicle who is streaming grounded. Uh, okay, we're back. Apparently, they haven't been that to that in a bit. We have Sour Walrus, who is streaming Atomic Hearts. Karen I is streaming Wild Hearts. Efrain is also streaming Atomic Hearts. Then we have WBPL76. I really should just come up with a short name for them. Uh, who is playing My Time at Portia. Not sure I've heard of that before. I have it I have quite a longer time ago. Okay, and then we have Kiri uh, Natsuyoko, who is streaming Doom 2 as usual. I'm a flanker is streaming The Settlers New Allies. Don't know about that one either. I know The okay. Settlers, yes, I don't know all the expansions and the games. I don't know, it's a very old game series. All right, and if those aren't interesting, or shall we move to the, uh, the recommended channels? Hmm. I hmm. say we can take. Oh, bloody heck. That, 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 that many. Hmm. I was in it. Oh, they here. Let's see. A Om Nom Square. Wild Hearts. <laughs> That's an interesting name. Let's see, site is muted. Yes, site is muted. Let's take a look here. I'm going I'm going to suggest raiding actually we raided them a while back not a while, but a bit back. The last one we raided was Cider Delish, but she isn't on at the moment. Um hmm. I guess we can raid I'm a flanker. Okay, we see what that game is about. Probably is <clears throat> probably a strategy game. But so it is. Copy it the is. name. Slash raid and paste. But before we start, of course, uh, <clears throat> thank you anyone who has been watching now or later. Uh, thank you, Noon, for chatting along a bit. I uh, hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, thank you, Ram, uh, for co-hosting. Uh, <laughs> 
uh, wasn't fully planned, but he's welcome to come and go whenever he wants, of course. And thank you as always, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And with that, let's start the raid. And yeah, I'll have to I'll have to plan in some more games for streaming since we are running at the end of the quote unquote calendar that I have at the moment. Not that I have anything specific other than I am thinking this franchise uh, and this franchise. But yeah, I'll see how I'll knit the games together to try and alternate, get some variety still going. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, maybe we'll have an evening stream with uh, more Headlander, I'm thinking. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Or yeah. Slime Rancher, depending depending how much energy you have. True. Uh, Slime Rancher also got a new region from what I heard, so that would be interesting. For now, though, uh, thank you all again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone, and watch out for... Sabertooth mummies.